the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tip-off coming up shortly from Oracle Arena as the Golden State Warriors will be going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for Milwaukee, they've made it through their first 10 games with just one loss. It's hard to argue with anything they've done so far. It's been that impressive a start to the season for them. Two great backcourts going head-to-head -head tonight. Kenny, your thoughts on how the guard position has evolved over time. And well, make it quick. Uh, yeah. The evolution quick. of the guard position in 12 seconds, please. Well, you weren't quick, so why do I have to be so quick? Well, just try. Eight okay, seconds I'm left. I'm going to be as quick as I can. Okay. Seven, but I'm going to be six, as five, vigilant as I can. Okay. Four. You know, three. They're more like combo guards two, now. One. And with all the switching guards who can defend more position for the teams that rebound collectively, guards have to be involved on the boards. Well, it's almost like you were reading that, Shaq. We were going to give you 10 seconds, Shaq. You didn't have to rush. I did rush. You didn't have to. Because I, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Combo guards. Let's go court, Shaq. K-Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone to the Golden State, Oakland, California, the home of the Warriors as they prepare for an Eastern Conference opponent right here. Buckle yourselves in everybody, it's the NBA on 2K-Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, our sideline reporter, the Hall of Famer David Aldridge. We've got a special treat for you folks tonight. Sports riding heavyweight Bill Simmons is in the house. Bill, welcome to 2K Sports. What an honor. I've been waiting for the invite for years. <laughs> and we've been waiting for the acceptance. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's do this. You take a look at the Bucks. Everyone on this team is pleased with the beginning of the season. They're playing so well right now. Five consecutive wins. And right now for the Bucks, you know, this happens every year. A team outperforms expectations early. You, you wonder, is this just an anomaly or is this something they can sustain? And what will be interesting to me is to see if they can keep it up. I mean, but you're right. It's very early in the season. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, guys, we know how dominant the Warriors are, but we also know that turnovers remain their Achilles heel. Now, Steve Kerr says sometimes the game comes too easy for our guys. They think they can do anything. We just have to keep it simple. The simple leads to the spectacular. And as the simple reporter, I send it back to the spectacular Kevin Harlan. DA, thank you. And by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. You know, you look at the roster of the Golden State Warriors. In terms of talent level, Bill, where do you think they rank all time? Because they've put now three championships together in four seasons. Yeah, it's a tough question because, you know, the Russell Celtics in the 60s, I think had the most talent, but you only also had like eight, nine, ten teams in the league during those years. But they had teams where there was like seven or eight Hall of Famers. The Warriors weren't deep like that. But for what they've done in this era, I think to have you know, two transcendent guys on the same team combined with two other guys who are in the top 20. So you have that. And then you have Curry, Thompson, and Durant, I think are probably three of maybe the best eight shooters ever or nine shooters, whatever. So you have that over Big there. Big statement, yes. And then to do this in a 30-team league is basically impossible. So if you're comparing them like the 80s Celtics and the 80s Lakers, those teams probably had similar talent, but it was also a smaller league. And, and if you had a 30-team league in 1985, Kevin McHale's not on the Celtics. He's probably on one of the expansion teams. Starting four All-Stars, the Warriors did. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure we see this again. I agree. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are out on the wings. Up front, you have Ilya Silva and Henson. And it's Bledsoe in at the one spot. Now, here's Bledsoe. Really played well against Portland in his last outing. Here's onto Takumbo. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, I tell you what, the long arms of Anta Takumbo are really incredibly lethal in the paint. Sometimes the defense really has no choice but to foul him and then hope he misses. 
First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that 84% free throw percentage is a testament to all the hard work he's put in on the line. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. That's good from Adetokounmpo. Hey, if you had a list of the most athletic players in the NBA and did a roll call, it would be not long before you got to Antetokounmpo. The Greek freak is a real deal. All three throws good from Antetokounmpo. Bill, always fun to speculate on what a player could be. What's the ceiling, do you think, for Giannis Antetokounmpo? MVP. The, I very, think it, the very top. A really good conversation is who's the next MVP? Who is the MVP who hasn't won it yet? And the candidates would be Anthony Davis, Giannis, Jason Tatum, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, if wow. he could play 2,500 minutes. Those would be the top five guys you mentioned. And Jason Tatum, I'm talking years from now, but I think those would be my five. I love these young, wonderful players the league has right now. Giannis and Davis not only are the next two MVPs in some order, but I think are the most untradeable guys in the league. And I, I do this piece every year. I used to before I retired. Uh, the trade value column, who has the highest trade value, it's Giannis. I would have Giannis 1A, Anthony Davis 1B. Giannis only because he's a little bit younger. But those are the two most untradeable guys in the league. Milwaukee is hanging up on any phone call from anyone who's like, what if we gave you this guy for Giannis? Click. Curry shot is off. Certainly not the dream start they were hoping for, going one for four early. And Middleton kicks to Bledsoe. As to Henson. Five on the clock. Pass to Ilias over. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Now, let's take a quick look at the numbers for Henson. Eighth in blocks, 17th in rebounding, and he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot blocker. Thompson inside the line. The shot will not fall. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Fresh from a win against Portland. Executed on the road, stayed focused, stay consistent with who you are as a team. I love that, Greg. You got to do that away from home. It shows how connected they are with one another playing that way and excellent chemistry. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. That's his first foul. And Ilyasova kicks to Bloodsoe. In the corner, Middleton with it. Pass to Ilyasova. Shot clock at six. Bloodsoe looking it over. And before the ownership changed in 2010, the Warriors franchise really staggered. Yeah, they staggered to the point that in 2012, I wrote a long column for Grantland about, it was like the 60 reasons you can't blame the Warriors fans for booing their owner on Chris Mullen night. <laughs> and I went through their whole history since they won the title in 74, of just all the horrible things that happened to them, all the dumb moves they made, all the dumb trades, all the things they never should have done. It was extensive, and after things flipped around, people mail me that article all the time, like, can you believe it? We've won three titles in the last four years. You just wrote this. It was, feels like yesterday, and it was. It's, it's one of the most amazing turnarounds of any franchise I can remember. I'm assuming you're a, you're a fan of their front office. Yeah, very, very smart, but, you know, the pieces were there. When they bought the team, everyone thought they overpaid, and not to toot my own horn because I've been wrong a million times, but... I was one of the only people who didn't think they overpaid. I just felt like that market was awesome. I love their fans. Uh, it was in the heart of Silicon Valley. It made sense that they should be a juggernaut, you know, and they had never really had good ownership. 
And as we learn over and over every year at the Knicks, like, owners matter. They just do. Here's Antetokounmpo following the basket by Stephen Curry. Antetokounmpo passes to Bledsoe. Count it. This guy's a big-time gamer. Eric Bledsoe, unstoppable. Warriors trail by eight. Curry with it. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Memphis, and the bank shot is good. Nice to see how easy he takes over games. Makes it look elementary. I mean, that's why they feed him the rock so much. Bledsoe kicks to Ilias Oban. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. And the Warriors making a change here. Bell's checked in. Now here's Ilias Ova. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And Bledsoe, here we go. Count that one. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. Eight-point game. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Milwaukee team. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor. But they were only able to split the series last year. And you look at how they match up. Certainly, you could see them losing. But you would still expect them to come away with two wins. And here's Middleton after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. The defense has to be better. I mean, they were fortunate that he missed that mid-range jumper. It certainly wasn't because of the defense. Cousins finds Curry. The Bucks building the roster around length and athleticism, Bill. That was a key reason they drafted Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, but, I mean, I did that draft. He went 15th. And basically, it looked like he was playing in the YMCA against ninth graders. We had no idea. In the Greek throwing, League. Yeah, after the lottery, you're throwing stuff against the wall. It was right around the right time to take him. I don't think they had any idea what they took. And also, he grew three inches after they took him. It's amazing. It is one of the most unbelievable draft picks in the history of the league. It really is. They drafted not just the best player in that draft at pick 15, but they drafted one of the franchise players of this decade, with this flyer pick on the 6'9 dude from Greece and was a success story even if he became an all-star. And it's gone way beyond that. Uh, you know, this just hasn't been his quarter. I mean, he doesn't seem to be comfortable at all, particularly shooting. I mean, he knows he's struggling right now. Now, Henson, he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Just five to shoot. Middleton can't get it to go. The Warriors trail. The pass to Iguodala. Over onto Takumbo. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Bucks have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. He kicks it to Middleton. Pass to Ilyasova. Onto Takumbo with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Golden State's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Iguodala, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And while Iguodala might not be the star of any team he's on, he's always going to be a major contributor because he does so many things well on Gentlemen, both ends. Two shots. Two shots. The first one falls, and the Warriors with some changes. Yurebko's checked in for Cousins. Livingston comes in for Thompson. And Cook subbed in for Steph Curry. The Bucs also changing it up. Tony Snell's checked in for Ilya Sova. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Matthew Delavadova in for Eric Bledsoe. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Bill, you've done quite a few player interviews over your life, and I'm sure there are some guys that have surprised you with what they've got to say. Yeah. I I think we're in a really cool generation with basketball players where they're these really thoughtful guys who aren't afraid to share stuff. You know, some of the guys try to protect their images and their kind of their manufactured reputations, I would say, to some degree. But for the most part, the candidness of 
some of these guys, you can't, you can't hide on a podcast. Mm-hmm. If I have you for an hour, you're not going to be able to dodge stuff. You're going to have to talk. Well, you challenge people, I, which, which is, that's the, that's the beauty of the podcast. Well, and I don't have notes, so I do it. I'm looking at you, you're looking at me, and we're going. And that's you got to be ready. King, that's how Larry King used yeah. to do it. Yeah. So some guys are ready. Like Durant was great. Durant was ready to talk, and we did five podcasts, and he'll everything's on the table with him. But my favorites are you know, somebody like Kyrie came in, really smart, kind of sort of ready to go, but not totally, but then got into it. And those are usually the best ones. Now here's Livingston following the miss by John Henson. Livingston passes to Cook. And Bell kicks to Iguodala. It's deflected. Here's Snell, defended by Jerebko. Yep, it counts. And the Bucks lead by three. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assist. Bell passes to Cook. Iguodala outside. Got a piece of it. Here is Cook. He's guarded by Brogdon. Stolen by Henson. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Brogdon has really good strength. And despite being bumped by the defense, still maintains his balance and plays right through it. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Bucks. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. Bill, several of your books have been bestsellers. How did it feel to see your work so well-received around the world? I think I was really happy that the basketball book did well because I spent a long time writing it, and it was 700 pages. And when it got mailed to me, it was so big, I thought people would just be terrified of it. And, you know, it turns out... I think out, they embraced the Yeah, signs. I think they did. They liked it. I designed it for people to be able to put on their toilet or bring on an airplane <laughs> or whatever they want to do with it. But uh, I was always amazed that there wasn't a basketball <laughs> book that tried to kind of group all these other books and some of the opinions and all the misinformation. Like, the fact that... Honestly, the reason I wanted to write the book was just that people thought Will Chamberlain was better than Bill Russell. And yet every single thing written in the 60s was that Bill Russell was better. And all the players would say Bill Russell was better. And when they played together, Bill Russell's team won. So it's like, how do we get to the point where people think Will Chamberlain was better? So it was that and some other stuff that made me want to write the book. Here is Cook following the bucket by the Bucks. Four on the shot clock over Delavidova. And it's Cook missing. Bucks leading by six. Here's Brogdon. Eight points his last outing. High arcing shot, and the layup is up and in. Brogdon's got nine points. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Igudala. The rebound by the Bucks. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Now here is Della Vadova from 12 feet out and another basket for Milwaukee. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. And here are the Warriors now after the basket by Milwaukee. Livingston kicks to Bell. Here's Cook. Crane for two points. He has six. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Elevidova finds Henson. Now on to Kumbo, defended by Bell. Igudala against Anadokumbo. That's a two from Delavidova. And a great assist by Anadokumbo as that one goes in. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Bell. Here is Cook. Defended by Della Vidova. The shot from 20 feet away. That one a little long. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. 
Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. To the right side. Six to shoot. Rebounded by Bell. And here is Igudala. And so it's Milwaukee going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Back right after this. The arrival certainly of Kevin Durant fortified an already great Warriors team. Teammate Steph Curry spoke about what KD brings to the table. Gives us a different dynamic that we can count on. Um, he's obviously an all-world talent that does things on the court that not many people can do. You know, he's hungry, just like the rest of us, to get to that stage again and get back on top. You know, Greg, KD and Steph are a lethal combination for sure. Nearly impossible to guard. I mean, both former MVPs and with the talent surrounding them, a chance to make history. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Just jumped all over them, Greg. I mean, pounced on them, using their length and quickness to come away with those steals. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Green and Bell are the bigs. Cook out there with Livingston, and it's Yurebko in at the small forward position. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Draymond Green is a former Defensive Player of the Year, and he remembers his motivation. They said I fell in the draft because what position would I guard? I'll never forget that. I'm comfortable guarding any position. When I'm playing against big guys, I battle even harder. You have to prove a point. I won't be a pushover. Kevin? Yeah, he never backs down. Thanks, David. Here is Cook. He's got eight. And Henson sends it back. Hey, that reach of Henson, remarkably long, unbelievably long. And that allows him to wipe away shots effectively. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for the Warriors. Ilyasova, he's checked in for the Bucks. Shot from the inbound. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Bill, it's interesting. More than 50 colleges and universities now offer scholarships in esports. I did not know this. And that number is probably only going to go up. Yeah, it, it makes sense, too. What what What's more popular, esports or water polo? <laughs> e no offense to the no, water no, polo no. players, but come on. Come on. No. Let's, let's like they, they cannot right. get enough of these games. No. Let's say we should have, every college should have esports. That's good from Green. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. He doesn't get the second one. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Down low. Brogdon trying to get open. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And that's now 10 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here is Cook. He's got eight. Kicks to Cousins. Over Ilyasova. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Count the basket. And the Bucks lead by 14. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. 
Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. Here is Cook, right now averaging about five points a game. Here's Cousins, and Draymond Green picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And some changes here for the Warriors. Thompson comes in for Yurebko. And Steph Curry subbed in for Quinn Cook. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Bloodsoe's checked in. Bucks leading by 14. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Count that bucket. Bloodsoe's got six points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Timeout called the Warriors. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Yeah, you know what? The waters were calm for most of the game. I mean, little resistance. Felt like they could get any look they wanted at any time. You know, Bill, you look at the Bucks. probably have to be more competitive on the defensive end to fulfill their true potential. Yeah, I... I would say that, and I would also say, you know, they're just, they don't play well with each other yet. It's like his turn, my turn, their turn, and it's just, I don't see the same camaraderie you see on some of the best teams. And also, like, Giannis needs to go up a level. Mm -hmm. He has the stats. He's in, he's a first-team All-NBA guy potentially this year, but he still has, has that one last leap to make that I think you saw with LeBron James in 2009. Uh, you saw James Harden the last couple of years. You saw Durant in 2014. There's one more level for him to go, making everybody else better, and that's going to be the difference. Asking too much of him, you think? Not at all. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it, gritty and, and rough, but that's how you win games. Here's Thompson after the basket by Milwaukee. Looking to end the run, and he gets the jumper to drop. Bucks leading by 16. Di Vincenzo, he's covered by Livingston. Here's Bledsoe, and it's Curry with the rebound some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Green dishes to Curry. Here's Thompson, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Thompson's got six points. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Anadokounmpo kicks to Connaughton. Onto Dekumbo, looking over the floor. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Warriors. And this is the number one ranked team in the conference, and for good reason. You can see the way they utilize a variety of areas of the floor for their scoring, and it's a well-designed recipe that they rely on. For, for all the other defenses out there, make note of this shot chart. The first free throw is good. Jordan Bell's checked in for Green. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Warriors trail by 16. Curry passes to Bell. Back to Curry. Pass to Thompson. Let's it fly. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Eight points for Clay Thompson. Yeah, Curry is so impressive. His peripheral vision is what makes him unique in addition to his ball handling skills. He does a nice job setting up his teammates and knows how to get them the ball when they're open. Now here's Bledsoe. Eight points for him. From 13, Cousins pulls it in. Warriors shooting under 40% all in all for the game. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, you know, Cal Cousins is a wrecking ball inside, guys. Effective at using his size to draw the contact close to the rim. He's a hard guy to defend. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Two shots. And the first one drops. This is where we see Cousins a lot. He's always up there among the lead leaders in free throw attempts. It's so hard to handle in the post. The D just never knows what to do with him. And Cousins drops them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Guys, he has been a major factor, big time, outstanding at getting quality looks and, and knocking them down. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That is his first foul of the game. Eric Bledsoe. First personal foul, team's throw. Here is Livingston. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Memphis. Curry finds Thompson. Now Livingston, six on the shot clock. Buries it down low. Adetokounmpo with the ball. He's coming off a 34-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Yeah, passed the ball well that last time. Out pinpoint passes and racked up a bunch of assists. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For Milwaukee, they have been good at the line so far, five of five. The free throw drops for Bledsoe. You know, an athletic and strong player at his position is Bledsoe, and he's a confident guy who I think makes an impact at both ends of the floor. Timeout called the Warriors. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Look at Milwaukee. A terrific position for them as they hold up that illustrious top spot, but it's a long season, as we all know. And, of course, there's the Celtics sitting directly below them, just one spot down. And I think for the Bucks, yeah, here's a team that some people doubted coming into the season. Obviously heard all the chatter, banded together, and now they've strung together some great wins. And you know what? They've been on fire to start the year, so they deserve a lot of credit. We'll see if they can continue to rack up the wins going forward. Now here's Curry. He's got 10, and he makes that one. Curry's got 12 in the game. Boy, Curry is so creative and efficient, and when he gets hot and gets going, he rains down points and baskets on the defense. Eliasova against Cousins. Eliasova down low. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Lock at six. And there's the pass to Connaughton. And the three off target. And here's Cousins. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Trailing by 13. Curry dishes to Cousins. Now Curry. He's got 12. Thompson outside. Here's Cousins. Over Ilyasova. And it's Golden State with another. And, you know, DeMarcus Cousins is used to playing through contact. I mean, he's excellent at overwhelming the defense with his strength. Bledsoe kicks to Connaughton. Back to Bledsoe. A three-pointer is right on target. 
Bledsoe's got 10 points in the quarter. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Thompson passes to Kerr. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Bucks leading by 14. Here's onto Takumbo. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Golden State gets called for the foul. And quite honestly, guys, onto Takumbo. Get that name right, folks. He's one of the most unique, talented players in the league. I mean, long arms, which really create a lot of problems for the defenders, whether he's passing or shooting. That's good from out of the Kumbo. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. Tony Snell's checked in for Milwaukee. Matthew Dellavedova comes in for Eric Bledsoe. Both free throws good from out of the Kumbo. Warriors trail by 16. Curry kicks to Bell. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Cousins. Doesn't go that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout and They've really been strong on the glass. Resplendent release on the floater. When executed correctly, it's a beautiful, effective shot. Here's Curry with the three. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. And that gets him going here in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. Now here is Della Vadova. He's got eight. Bounce pass Middleton. Shot clock at six. Iliasova finds out to Takumbo. Over Bell. Good D by Bell. That's exactly how you want to play it defensively, Kevin. I mean, getting a hand up to distract and bother the shooter. Uh, not easy to stop somebody this deep inside. Curry passes to Cousins. Back to Curry. And another three for Golden State. And how about the consistency from range tonight? Really impressive. Yeah, you know what? The defense can't keep giving him these looks. I mean, he looks really comfortable shooting from these spots on the floor. Now here's Middleton. He had 16 points in the win against the Trailblazers in Portland. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. Middleton against Thompson. Puts it up. And the Warriors tack on two more. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. Adetokounmpo against Bell. And Adetokounmpo gets it to go. Hey, you know, in the age of analytics, there's a ton of talk about player efficiency these days. And as we can see by Adetokounmpo's performance tonight, his efficiency, extraordinary. Now here's Curry. 18 points for him. Rebounded by Snell. 146 left to play in the first half. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Snell's got his first bucket in this one. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. That shot wide open. 21 points for Steph Curry. That's his fifth three-pointer of the half, filling it up. Bill, what a pleasure to have you with us. Great, as always, to hear your thoughts, your commentary. I hope you join us again soon. I'd love it. Anytime, Kevin. Tell me. Thank you. And, Clark, always great to have Bill with us, a content creator who really taps into what the audience is thinking. Could not agree with you more. Amen to all of that, Kevin. He's got a very loyal fan base and readers and viewers that share his vision, not just on sports, but on life and that strong connection he has with them is admirable. Thompson dishes to Cousins. 
46 seconds left in the first half of the game. And then Cousins with the dunk. Yeah, the dynamic finish by Cousins. Not a freak athlete, but he's a gamer for sure. It's stolen by Bell. Iguodala kicks to Curry. And Curry throws it down. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. And there's the foul. It's on Tony Snell. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Twelve seconds left to play here in the half. And here is Curry. From deep. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. I like the energy of Della Vadova. I mean, he plays really hard and smart defensively, and he takes a lot of pride in what he does defensively, too. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? I came with Kenny Styles grabbing the rebound now, just trying to push it, trying to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. Well, they've been playing with some toughness. And it's led to a nice lead for them, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers. And now they need to stay mean, Ernie. You cannot lose that edge in the second half. And over to Kenny now. How'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, I think they could be way more physical than they have been in the first half. Their defense gave up way too many easy looks, and that kind of defense will turn to a loss any night. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Curry has been sensational. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. Yeah, you know, good things happen when he cuts to the rim, Greg. And you cut into the heart of the defense like that, makes things easy. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Lots of physical play, Clark, during your time in the NBA. That's been toned down to a degree. Do you miss it being a, a bigger part of the game now? You know what? I think it's still a very physical game. The rules have changed. The way the game is officiated has certainly changed. Some of the tough fouls that you saw in decades past don't exist as much. But I still think the game is extremely physical. So I'm glad to see us move in the direction of toning that down a bit. There's enough physicality in the game. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are out on the wing. Up front you have Ilya Silva and Henson. And it's Bledsoe in at the point guard. Now here's Bledsoe. Here's onto Takumbo. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Boy, for such a young player, the razor-sharp focus of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. I mean, a muscular guy who still 
makes baskets despite getting hit in the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Mind the length. Mind the length. One shot. Free throw, no good for Anadokounmpo. Greg, you look at the lineup for the reigning champs. When healthy, this team starts five all-star players at every position. And even with Boogie coming back from a devastating injury, this team is scary. People immediately called it the best team ever assembled. Right at the front office, but, but the Warriors players still have to prove they are the best ever on the floor this season. Tell you what, if you're going to hit Bledsoe, you really got to give it to him because when you don't, he just works through that contact. One shot. That's good from Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe, Greg, one of the league's best slashers. Yeah, he gets to the rim with regularity, and he finishes at a high rate, lives at the line. He is a nightmare in the open court. Now here's Cousins. Six points for him. And Henson sends it back. And so the ball out of bounds. Henson touched it last. Third quarter of basketball, we're about a minute and a half in. Five to shoot. It's Curry outside. Milwaukee with the rebound. Onto DeCumbo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That'll be his second foul of the game. To the inside. Here's Middleton, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Guys, they've had a solid start to the second half offensively. Gotten good looks, and they've made three out of four of them. And Chris Middleton, 39th overall pick back in 2012, a throw in in the Brandon Knight, Brandon Jennings trade. Yet, Clark, you know, you look back, and he was the best player by far in that deal. Kevin, the player's individual journey of development is hard One to shot. predict. He's now one of the best two-way wings in the league, and I think he surprised a lot of people, but it's a credit to his work ethic and his skill level. Here's Curry. 26 points for him. Pass to Green. Thompson, high post, and the foul on John Henson. That is his first foul of the game. John Henson. First personal foul, team's first. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Igudala outside, shot clock at five. Beyond the arc. And, you know, Kevin, his team is struggling a bit right now. I mean, I hope he can find his rhythm and start making his shots out there soon. Otherwise, dot, dot, dot. Curry on the wing. He kicks it to Cousins. From 20 feet out. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Cousins. And that's 28 points for Steph Curry. And, you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Now here's Henson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Stolen by Thompson. And they're running. Wants to get it to Igudala and does. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. Bucks leading by 11.
Bloodsoe outside. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Anadokounmpo has got six assists now in the game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And Eric Bledsoe, so gifted athletically, he's got to learn to read the game as fast as he plays it, and that's a process. Staying under control, using change of pace, those are things he can tighten up. And the Bucks making a change here. On defense, the Bucks, they led by as many as 18 points. And playing under Chauncey Billups and Chris Paul, Eric Bledsoe got the message about playing Clark at two speeds. Well, you know, it's almost like baseball. You've got to have a little change of pace in your game, the change up to keep hitters off balance in baseball, same in basketball. And his strength helps him too now. He can hold off his defender while he downshifts to make decisions with the ball. And, and he's been the key for their offense with the way he shot the basketball. Yeah, he's most certainly not the reason they're in a the hole. I mean, his percentage has been outstanding. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got 20. Even Genzo. No good with the triple. And so it's Igudawa. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. 11-point game. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Yep, it counts. Golden State's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Green taking his time here. It's Curry outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. After this one, they take on the Clippers at the Staples Center. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Basket counts. And now a 12-point Bucks lead. The Warriors have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Now here's Thompson. He's guarded closely. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. And a chance here to take a look at the shooting chart for Anadokounmpo. Right now, after looking at that chart, you, you pretty much can just jog down the court. <laughs> he gets it in the paint. That Just time and time again, he's worked his way in close and made a shot over a defender or found another way to convert. Just great stuff coming from him thus far. Here's Curry with the three. That shot off the mark. Milwaukee leading by 12. Poked away. Stolen by Thompson. Passes it to Igudala. And Henson pulls it down. Henson's got five rebounds tonight. Even Genzo. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Green. And Green slams it in. Well executed. And then you love the strong finish. Fantastic speed on the break. Speed kill showing no mercy in transition there, partner. Now here's Bledsoe. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open guys. Some changes for Golden State. Jordan Bells checked in for Cousins. Livingston comes in for Andre Iguodala. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Steph Curry. Milwaukee also making some changes. Tony Snell's checked in for Ilya Sova. And Brogdon subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That's good from Henson. You're always looking for guys with confidence, but then some guys maybe go a little bit too far with that element, and <laughs> the efficiency level will drop below their talent level. There are guys that can be swayed by that. Yeah, you're right, and uh, it's a, a mixed bag with those kind of guys because the talent is always on display, and it's um, hard not to appreciate it, but the inconsistency is frustrating. Perhaps the guy who maybe best epitomizes that is Lance Stevenson because he's, when he's good, mm -hmm. he can give you a lot of stuff at both ends. When he's sideways, <laughs> he can um, 
hurt you a little bit too. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? Yurebko's checked in for Thompson. One shot. One shot. And Draymond Green, an extremely vocal leader. Uh, he's in his teammates' ears, always trying to keep them on edge. Also in his opponent's ears as well. And then there's the officials. Uh, he, he tends to like to get in their ears as well. Kicks it to Henson. Over Bell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Draymond Green, Greg, has been among the league leader in technicals. If you're one of his teammates or his coach, do you try to get him to dial it back? You know, his greatest strength can, can probably also be his greatest weakness. That fire and motivation, really second to none. But I'd be careful not to hamper that enthusiasm. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Henson. And Clark, you look at the Bucks roster. What's the biggest area of need, in your opinion? The question mark I see is the center position, Kevin. Thon Maker might have some upside and could very well fill that void, but they lack a presence in there now. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Pat Connington. Both good from the line that time. The former Tar Heel, John Henson, is incredibly efficient on both ends of the court. Stolen by Delavidova. Teardrop shot. It's rebounded by Golden State. Bell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Down low, Livingston. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Livingston's got his second basket. Boy, good job firing the pass inside there. I mean, all his teammate had to do was catch and finish. Henson against Bell. Shot clock at six. Misses off the left iron. Warriors trail by 12. Here's your Repco. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Snell from outside. Trills it from outside. Snell's got five. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Here is Cook, defended by Della Vidova, and he gets it to go. Ten points for him. And it's Della Vidova with the ball. He brings it up for Milwaukee. It's Brogdon on the wing. Pass to Henson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Malcolm Brogdon, the son of a lawyer and a college dean, no less. His maturity and thoughtfulness certainly reflect that upbringing. At the line for two. Two shots. That free throw good from Brogdon. And with the way Brogdon conducts himself, some teammates call him, Greg, the president. Yeah, he has an air about him. That He has that leadership quality and has a goal to create an NGO to alleviate poverty and hunger in developing nations. Who knows? Politics might not be out of the question for this young man. And so he makes both from the line. 
Malcolm Brogdon, the 36th pick in the 2016 draft, went on to win Rookie of the Year. I mean, that's the second time a player not taken in the first round received that award. The first time was back in 1957. Kevin, you probably know who that is because you one may shot. have even called one of his games. Uh, no, I, I'm not that old, Clark. Uh, you sure you're not thinking of a game maybe you called back in the day? <laughs> And you think about Brogdon slipping into the second round. Uh, Clark, what caused so many teams to pass on him? Well, you know, in this day and age, Kevin, uh, younger is deemed to be better. And if you've happened to be in college four or five years, you're looked at a little differently. He spent five years at Virginia. But to his credit, he got his bachelor's degree and a master's in public policy. So he's got great character and perseverance. That's good from Cook. We know Clark fans want to see star players. That's been a hot topic around the league. The league has added rules, in fact, that now prohibit resting guys on certain nights. Yeah, I think that's important that players have a real understanding of their responsibility. I understand trying to balance the rest versus the wear and tear of a course. of. That's another reason I propose a shorter season. I don't think you'd end up with this kind of controversy or debate. But I thought the league was right in requiring, I mean, your responsibility is to play all the games you're available to play in unless you're injured. And I think it's important that guys take that responsibility seriously. And it's a responsibility they have to themselves, to the team, the organization, and the fans. Here's Della Vidova following the basket by Draymond Green and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Saturday, they'll host the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Monday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for that matchup against the Rockets, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. And he makes the first. And the Bucs back in 2001, advancing to the conference finals in the subsequent 17 seasons, Clark. They've yet to win a playoff series. Uh, is this the year? Well, when you have a top five caliber player in Giannis Antetokounmpo, expectations rise and you do have a better chance to advance in the playoffs. Earning a top seed, though, I think is important because that gives you home court advantage, which we know is helpful. Warriors trail by 14. Here is Cook, 13 points in the game. Livingston kicks to Bell. Back to Livingston. Cook, the pass to Green. Clock at four. Rebounded by the Bucks. Henson's got six rebounds here tonight. Inside, and to Takumbo. And the layup's good off the glass. On to Takumbo's got four points this quarter. Antetokounmpo going to work inside. Yeah, he's six foot eleven, but he's also relentless. Cook kicks to Green. Back to Cook. Here's the floater. That one's rebounded by Della Vidova. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. That one goes. Count it. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Can't hit that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. And that'll be the final game of this five-game homestand. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now here is Della Vadova. Ten points for him. And the double up on a Dekumbo. Inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Brogdon so composed, riding the wave of momentum, not forcing shots. Instead, taking what the defense gives him. Cook kicks to Bell. There's the pass to Livingston. Golden State moving the ball around. To Jerebko from deep three-point range. Adetokounmpo grabs the miss. 
Adetokounmpo's got 11 rebounds in the game. It's stolen by Bell. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Livingston kicks to Cook. And Jurebko has it in the corner. Nailed from three-point land. Jurebko's got his first three points of the game. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. And so it's Milwaukee. Feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Green and Bell are the bigs. Livingston is out there with Curry, and it's Yarebko in at small forward. So that's the group out there for Golden State. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Trailing by 17. Now here's Livingston. He's guarded by Brogdon. Livingston finds Curry. Pass to Yarebko. Stolen by Middleton. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And, you know, Middleton is really dangerous on the drive. He often gets to the rim in a heartbeat and forces defenders to end up fouling him. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucks. Take a break. Take the mid-range that two you've shots. seen from them, about as good as it gets. And there has not been a drop-off in the second half. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. And he makes the first. Well, you want to talk about the smoothest players in the league? You can't forget about Chris Middleton. I mean, he's not a blow-you-away athlete, but he has really good length and a sweet stroke, and he can get his shot off any time. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, DeMarcus Cousins. He's checked in for Jordan Bell. Igudala comes in for Yurebko, and it's Klay Thompson in for Sean Livingston. And you look at Chris Middleton, Clark. What doesn't he do well? You know, there's not much. He does a little bit of everything well. He's a smart, versatile defender. He can command the double team with his scoring and punish the double team with his passing as well. He can hurt you a lot of different ways, Kevin. Nice-looking floater there, Kevin. Such a fast shot, a quick release. Really hard to guard that. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's foul number two for him. Elias Sova, he's checked in for John Henson. Second person, first team. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. And Green gets it to go. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Bucks leading by 19. Bledsoe with it. And the rejection by Curry. And he recovers it. And the three ball is good. This is the kind of player Ilya Sova is. I mean, as soon as he has the ball in his hands, he's thinking about letting the shot go. Cousins dishes to Iguodala. Back to Cousins. In the corner, Iguodala with it. Shot clock at five. The rebound by the Bucks. Boy, the defense did an awesome job there, Kevin. Big time work. Really distracting him, throwing off the shot. That's how you do it on D. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. 
you look at player contracts today, Clark, a little different from the one after you signed your rookie year. What, four years and a million dollars? Do I have that right? Yeah, you got the numbers right, Kevin. And you know, I look at that as all relative. How about the guys who played way before me? Right. And they were traveling on trains to games and were working jobs during the summer. I mean, it's all a function of the revenue generation of the league, which has grown exponentially since I played. We were part of the group that actually saw the first salary cap instituted in the early 80s. So growth is part of what we see now in player salaries, and I'm all for the guys to get what they deserve from that standpoint. And here's Bledsoe after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. A teardrop shot, no good from Bledsoe. And that layup is usually going in, especially when the defense is as lazy as that. The shot by Thompson, no good. Milwaukee leading by 22. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. And no good. Great D that time from Higudala. It's Curry outside. That one falls. Coming off Higudala's feed. Higudala's got five assists tonight. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. the Dekumbo against Green. Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now here's Ander Dekumbo. Ilyasova can't hit. The drive by Green. Outside for Curry. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his third foul of the game. Milwaukee making a switch here. Connaughton's checked in. That's his third person. The team's second. Into the lineup for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton. Iguodala outside. Stolen by Bledsoe. To the inside. And to Dekumbo. Outside for Bledsoe. Back to Anadokumbo. And a miss there on the triple. Warriors trail by 19. And the wide open shot from Green. And the shot no good. A bit short. Outside, out of the Kumbo, passes to Ilya Sova. Green against out of the Kumbo, and they double up out of the Kumbo. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go, Thompson heading to the hoop. Over Middleton, Thompson misses. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. He's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat out rushed it. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain neutral position. Now here's Middleton following the miss by Eric Bledsoe. Six on the shot clock. Middleton can't get it to go. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. 19 point game. From downtown, rebounded by the Bucks. Ante DeCumbo's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Bledsoe. Onto Takumbo, passes to Middleton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Now the feed to Iguodala. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Bucks leading by 17. Time now out, a timeout time called by Milwaukee. Yeah, Clay Thompson, such a perfect fit on the Warriors. A versatile defender, can score playing off the ball, and just plays the game the right way. John Henson's checked in for Milwaukee. John Henson. Anadokounmpo finds Bledsoe. Back to Anadokounmpo. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Cousins. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And, guys, this is where their depth 
really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop off. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Adetokounmpo. And is there any doubt Klay Thompson could go to another team and average 30 points a game as the main offensive weapon? Yeah, but you know, he's not an attention seeker. And that's just not his personality. He knows it's more fun to play for a winner. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. He kicks to Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists now tonight. And, you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Now here's Bledsoe. Middleton lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. Ben, I tell you what, Middleton does a nice job using his length inside. You know, when he gets in a good spot, he's a high-percentage shooter from there. On the Dekumbo against Iguodala. Outside, Green. A three-pointer off the mark. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly right. Patrolling the perimeter well and didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A-plus defense. And we may have an injury here that does not look good. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against, and that's injury. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been a benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand. The Warriors making a switch here. Yurebko's checked in. Iguodala kicks to Curry. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Adetokounmpo against Iguodala. Puts it up from 12. Here's your repco. And again, no good by Golden State. Milwaukee leading by 20. Outside, Adetokounmpo. Mark, when you were playing to complement your inside game, you had that wonderful mid-range jumper, but more and more, players are going away from it. I think it's all driven by analytics, Kevin. I mean, everything is about the three-point shot, mm -hmm. efficiency of your possessions, go for three when you can or get it to the rim. And that makes sense from a mathematical standpoint. From a game standpoint, though, if a quality shot is a mid-range shot for a good shooter, I think you should take them all the time. I mean, that would just be my posture. So... I differ with the analytics. I understand what they say. But if I was coaching, guys get a good mid-range jumper from a quality shooter, we're shooting it every time. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. Bucks leading by 20. Onto Takumbo, passes to Henson. Middleton outside. And the three ball is good. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached. But, man, plan to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. And here is Ilyasova after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Ilyasova dishes to Middleton. And, yes, it's good. Timeout, timeout. Middleton's got 14 points now in the second half. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. 
Now a timeout called by Golden State. You know, Clark, when you think about it, all fans really care about is winning, and, and that's hard to pull off when you're the only star on your team. We see it all over the league. You know, basketball is not tennis or golf. It's a team game, and one man can't win a championship by himself. I mean, when you look at all the championship teams, they were championship teams, not driven by just one star player. And uh, it's a blessing when you can play with other good players, and that's what all good players desire to do at some point in their career. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. Iguodala outside. Kicks to Thompson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at gentlemen. the free throw line. Man, Thompson is phenomenal as a two-way player. A knockdown shooter from everywhere, challenged or unchallenged. And he defends at an elite level, too. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Good on both. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Mark, these days, less emphasis on divisional rivalries, more emphasis, it seems, on, on conference rivalries. Are you reading that the same way? Yeah, I am, and I think part of it is because winning your division doesn't necessarily affect your playoff seeding the way it used to. And I think if we get rid of conferences, the rivalries could shift again. So I've already laid out my position on conferences. Let's stay east and west. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Curry's shot is good. And Kevin, the three ball of Curry deadly. I mean, you feel like it's going in as soon as he lets it go, no matter where, at what angle or how deep. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Tipped away. Got it. Good job in the low post. Nine points for Henson. Warriors trail by 21. There's a minute 40 left to play here in the fourth. McKinney, no good. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Bloodsoe against Curry. And Bloodsoe, here we go. Count it. Bloodsoe's got 24 points. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Milwaukee. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting, Greg, will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. A good another from three. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. Well, the most made threes in a game list Two is dominated down. by Curry, and, and this performance Two. belongs right up there with all of those. He has been on fire. And a season after he won the most improved player, Adetokounmpo Clark was a legit MVP contender. No doubt about it. I think if the Bucks had been a top seed, perhaps he could have won it, although James Harden was phenomenal last season. The league has been put on notice. This is a guy who wouldn't surprise me at all Two if he shots. became an MVP at some point in his career. Mm -hmm. 
No good on the free throw. And from everything you hear about Giannis Antetokounmpo, he keeps a laser focus. Basketball and his family are his sole preoccupations. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors, Damian Jones is checked in for Iguodala. Yurebko comes in for Bell. And Cook subbed in for Steph Curry. He hits the second from the line. And it's Cook with the ball for Golden State. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Thompson. Two points. That one goes. Yeah, once Thompson gets going, he, he is almost impossible to slow down. We're seeing that tonight. Their entire offense is revolving around him. And boy, is he coming through. Elevadova finds out to Takumbo. And they double up on a Takumbo. Here is Cook. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defensive stops. And everybody's just playing their game. And it's show tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.